What's going on, everyone? Welcome to Movie Emporium's movie review of Civil War, the newest film from director Alex Garland. Okay, so this is a little bit of a late review. I'm used to doing reviews beforehand, but I have to talk about this movie because I love Alex Garland. I'm sad to see that he's no longer wanting to do movies in a sense of directing because I think he's very talented, even though his his filmography when it comes to directing is very, very mixed. But Civil War has uh, officially released. It's a movie I've really been looking forward to. Um, it's a movie that's garnered some interesting buzz when it comes to films. And it's it, when it comes to its subject matter, uh, depending on your feeling of the world and the state of affairs and politics might hit you differently it just all depends on how you feel but civil war to begin with is a story about the division of america a separatist group has basically sheared off from the states or whatever and you know nick offerman plays a president that is very much uh, what you would expect a president to be in the state of affairs and uh he is very confident that they're going to uh basically come back into the union to see and stuff like that and it's not working out that way and it basically follows a, a set of journalist press members uh played by of course kirsten Dunst and wagner uh, mora kaylee spenny and stephen mckinley henderson and they have to tra they're going to travel to dc or at least a couple of them are going to travel to dc uh kaylee spenny's character comes along stephen mckinley henderson's character comes along but they're going to be dropped off earlier and we get a look of how div divided country of america has become after this succession and stuff like that and it basically is that story it's Alex Garland basically uh, warning the country about what possibly could happen and how things in a national emergency just completely go into chaos and how just, you know, the, the, the look and feel of how human culture and American culture really feels in this state of age when it comes to politics and all that good stuff. So that's kind of the premise. It leads to eventually, you know, if you've seen the movie, you know where it leads to. Uh, but they're heading to Washington, D.C., which is very much a, a very hot zone in a lot of respects. So um, I'm a huge fan of Alex Garland. I really am. I love Ex Machina, as I've said in my best of the decade. I think it's one of the top 10 of the decade. Um, I like men. I'm not a huge fan of Annihilation, but for the most part, I think he's a very talented director. He's a very talented writer, you know, 28 Days Later and stuff like that. So him doing a movie like this is not surprising. He also did a TV with a TV show with Stephen McKenley Henry and Kaylee Spenny and Nick Offerman, which was called Devs, which I thought was like one of the great TV shows of the last you know five or six years. And so I'm really looking forward to this movie, but I know the hot spot that it's portraying. But going into it, knowing what it's going to portray, I know this is going to be a very difficult film to talk about because it's going to garner a lot of interesting comments and so on and so forth. But for my honest review of this movie, uh, I found it riveting. I found it horrifying. I found it uncomfortable, but I found it very, very interesting with what Alex Garland is trying to do because there is no level of subtlety for this movie at all. Uh, it's a movie that is going to make you either one way or the other on it. You're either going to walk out of it or you're going to be riveted by it. And it's just depending how you feel and there are things in this that i'm never going to forget there are things and moments and ideas and <laughs> representation there's the scenes with you know jesse plemons who is married to kirsten dunce which is ironically they're in the scene together that is uh one of the most tense scenes i've seen in quite a while the stuff that you know leads to the conclusion of this of this movie is really insane and dark and disturbing uh just moments in general like new york city or when they're on the countryside or you know all these things that lead into this movie are really potent and what they're trying to do and once again i don't want to lead to either side you know you, you already know my political views if you if you've seen them but i think this movie is a real kind of cautionary tale about what could happen if the united states doesn't get their crap together if they don't do what they're supposed to do because we're leaning to this possibility where you know we've seen it we've heard while country or cities and towns and states want to succeed because of their political views and stuff like that and I think this movie really does a nice job of sh giving that foreshadow of what truly could happen and how scary it could truly be. Because we're also in a state of affairs right now where certain parts of the world are in a very much flux of very dangerous situations. And that's what this movie is in a nutshell trying to do and trying to say is got to be careful how you represent yourself and how what you do to yourself because it's going to have issues and problems. And, you know, the state of the country right now is very much, uh, <laughs> very much uh, down the middle split and stuff like that and it's just a very scary situation but Kirsten Dunst has never been better 
as an actress as she is in this movie. She's already got an Oscar nomination for Power of the Dog. Her husband, of course, got an Oscar nomination. He's fantastic. You know, uh, Stephen McHenry, McKenley Henderson is fantastic as that older press guy. You know, uh, Kelly Spenny, who's like the up-and-coming press person, the up-and-coming uh, photogra- photographer, is fantastic. How she idolizes, of course, uh, you know, the Kirsten Dunn's character. The other character played by Wagner Mora and how they have to handle everything. It's it's a really well done movie. It's really well shot. I saw it on IMAX, so it has a lot of uh, very striking visuals. The sound is there. There's a point where the movie starts out and you see like the A24 logo and stuff like that. And it happens with every like in probably every screening that you go to. But the IMAX is very noticeable where they actually mess with the speakers. So it sounds like the speakers are going out of whack. So it sounds like there's like, you know, like uh, hissing in front of you. Then there's hissing behind you and hissing to the right, left. It's really crazy. And then how Alex Garland likes to use his score and how he likes to use sound effects. It really is like being near one of those speakers, you will go deaf in the IMAX screen. It's pretty impressive stuff. It's one of the most impressive sound design movies I've seen this year. This is a movie that's probably just on the sound design alone would get an Oscar nomination just for that. And it's going to be interesting to see how it plays out in the Oscar season because it really is a very telling movie and a very in-your-face movie. Is not willing to hold anything back. It definitely shows where Alex Garland leans when it comes to these types of things. And he, he brings both sides to the story. So you're not rooting for either side. You're just kind of in the middle. But it's fascinating how the press is used in this movie because it's very much a war film and they're very much in the, the thick of it and they're being you know there's scenes in this where there's gun battle going on you have the photographers and the press people taking pictures or recording video and the the soldiers are having to lean them like pushing them forward and stuff like that and you see them like working together and it's a really it's a really fascinating thing to watch and i was really surprised by how interesting it really all was and i let's again it's a very difficult movie to watch it's not gonna be for everyone there were people that walked out of the theater but it's a movie that i felt was really a really potent experience something that will be in my top 10 of the year just be on the simple fact of what is the message is representing how difficult this world is becoming and the things that we do and say and preach and teach to our youth and to ourselves is going to affect the way this world operates and the way America's operate in the future. And once again, I'm not saying that it's going to lean towards what civil war does, but there are things and ideas being presented that very much show just the nature of human ideology and human culture, and especially in America's with how split down the middle we are sometimes with like how we feel. But I, I, once again, I absolutely love this movie. I think it's fantastic. I think it's a very unsettling and I think it's sad that Alex Garland doesn't want to do anything thing with like directing anymore but i definitely understand because you know he puts out very interesting very thought-provoking very provocative films and whether for good or worse you're either gonna like it or you're not it's just how alex garland operates and uh yeah i highly recommend this film if you go with the journey deal with the unsettling nature and be uncomfortable it definitely will be up your alley so overall highly recommended on civil war not for everyone but i highly recommend it either way but that'll do it. That'll be my take on Alex Garland's Civil War, now in theaters. Uh, anyways, thank you so much for watching. Comments below. What do you think of this movie if you watched it? If you didn't like it, that's perfectly all right. I understand. I understand this is not for everybody. But just let me know what you think of this movie overall. Like, what is your feeling on it? All, all that good stuff. Otherwise, if you like what you see on this channel, hit the subscribe button to join Movie Emporium. Hit that notification bell at the top to find what's coming next. If you like this video, awesome. Hit that like button. And as always, we'll see you guys on the next video. Peace out.